Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams and this is a second reading on Jim Cornette. If you don't know who is Jim Cornette is, he is a very controversial wrestling um, guru and legend. Like he's the one that um, book Smoky Mountain or he's an owner of Smoky Mountain. But I'm excited to do a reading on him to see what's around him. And yes, I am writing some notes that um, I see what's going to happen to him in 2020. So Jim Cornette, born um, September 17th. 1961 that make him a Virgo and you see why he's very detailed and very um, professionist when it comes to um, everything uh, what he does especially in wrestling he got an eye of professional wrestling some people love it some people hate it but that make him a very interesting person i would say um what i see is that there are people who stole from him in the past like there are people who stole his ideas stole things that belong to him but i think that he's he got older and he more wiser and he's like i forgive them because he see that um, some of them that stole from him on receiving the comma and um, tell you guys comma is real if you was a bully in the past your children will get bullied or if you cheat on your lover um, you will be cheated on with your um, future wife future husband so yeah comma is real um, what I see with Jim Cornette on these notes. I do see lots of people, I see, I do see lots of people offering like jobs um, behind the scenes. And he's like, well, you guys, I don't want to get into like wrestling nowadays. I want to stick what I love and stick what I'm good at. And also, I do see that he is um, revamping and re um, doing um, something related to his podcast. I could see him inviting um, wrestlers, up and coming wrestlers, or some celebrities join in his um, podcast show that would make ratings because I feel like Jim Cornette despite there are people who do not like him and he doesn't care about people who do not like him he's gonna say what is on his mind that's what i see um i see that um he's gonna be in lots of controversy as well with his podcast but however he will make a lot of money and a lot of merch of his um podcast i feel like his podcast is gonna be very very popular um in 2020 because people are listening to his podcast um believe it or not um i do see that he's gonna do something like a video a youtube video to have people to call in his um podcast or his youtube channel yeah, Jim Cornette got a YouTube channel, but I feel like he's going to upgrade it more of like, you'll see his reaction. Um, you could, you could see um, how he's going to set up like, um, it's going to be so different. Like you're going to see people calling in from his, from, um, um, how do I put this? It's like, um his youtube channel is gonna be extremely popular that's what i see extremely popular um he's very outspoken jim Cornette. very outspoken 
He's not afraid to speak his mind, love him or hate him, but you got some respect for him. Like people like Kenny Omega um, really want that respect. Despite people claiming that they don't like Jim Cornette or hate Jim Cornette, but deep inside, they really want respect from him because Jim Cornette being in the game for a long time in professional wrestling. He knows his stuff. The spike is very outdated, but people still enjoy the old school wrestling. Believe it or not, there are lots of people are into old school wrestling. And also there are certain people who claim in the anti um, Jeff Cornette fans they low-key listen to him believe it or not and people want to see what he what he said and what he thinks it is weird but it's just like he's that guy that people listen to when they couldn't say nothing in public or um or social media I, okay, okay, this is what I got in my notes. Um, he is dealing with health problems that he needs to check up, him and his wife. His wife is probably expecting, like, I don't know if she's pregnant or not, or if she's thinking about having a kid with him, but I feel like this is the year of her getting pregnant by Jim Cornette, believe it or not. Um, but I do see like Jim experienced some health problems with his health and he needs to um, go to the doctor and check what he needs to do to control his either diabetes or his cholesterol. And also, he needs to stop yelling and screaming. That rate raises blood pressure and stress. Um, because people do like you, Jim. It's just that um, there is this strong... Um, um, it's like there is this strong, like, um, intensity around you. Like people in the wrestling community, the modern wrestlers and the modern wrestling fans supposed to hate you, but deep inside they do like you. And they really want you to love Kenny Omega. And speaking of Kenny Omega, I'm going to tell you this, um, people who listen to this video, Jim Cornette do not like Kenny Omega at all. And I'm sorry to you guys, he do not like Kenny Omega. And I see what you guys are doing. Like I said in this video, you want his respect. You want Jim respect so bad. And it's sad because it's like, if, if you want people to respect you, you got to learn how to respect yourself. You got to learn how to grow up and be more who you are as a person. People don't respect you if you cannot respect themselves. If someone does not respect me, why bother to for why bother to beg for their respect? Tell me why. Respect is a hard way to go, but I'm just saying that there are things in life that you gotta learn how to accept rejection. Accept people don't respect you as a person. I'm speaking through experience because there are like a black person like myself deal with white people or other race people who doesn't respect me because they feel like I don't respect myself. And I, I, I learned that for a while. It's like if you could respect yourself and carry yourself with respect and dignity, people will notice. 
So, um, but I do feel like he, <laughs> I do feel like Jim Cornette gonna deal with a lot of Kenny Omega fans when he gonna revamp um, his YouTube channel with videos of him and the other guy. But the other guy feel like they're not ready for the video yet, but they're gonna do like something like an auto so people could call in and ask questions and their opinion about professional wrestling and um, politics. And I feel like Jim Cornette gonna be making a lot of money because of it. And trust believe, I say it first, Jim, Con Jim Cornette gonna make a lot of money to revamp his um, podcast where people call in, say they're paying about wrestling, and like do something different, like having wrestlers to come to his show. And it gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna say this, it's gonna be good um, podcast, um, YouTube um, show because nobody thought about it yet no one so for him to like plan that out saying like, i'm gonna have wrestlers or people work in the business professional wrestling business or politics to call in his show and talk about what is going on in their life and what they think about this and that so that's what i see um i feel like triple h is trying to reach um, Jim Cornette. And also, uh, I do feel like... Um, this is sound crazy. This is what I wrote. If Triple H doesn't make a contact with Jim Cornette to hire him as the head writer... I could see it's gonna be very controversial if I say this. It's it's funny how people got two faces and they be saying things like, Oh, I don't want Jim Cornette to go to AEW. Um, I have a weird feeling Jim Cornette might go to AEW and I think it could be Tony Hung if Triple H did not um, reach out to him but I'm pretty sure Triple H will reach out to Jim Cornette definitely and that will cause a lot of talk and I feel like Jim, Jim Cornette in 2020 gonna be in wrestlers community's mouth because people gonna talk about Jim Cornette this Jim Cornette that like Jim Cornette is the guy that everyone going to talk about mark my words about his health scare about him going to NST as a head writer or go to um to um we an honor as the booker or the head writer or um AEW that is what I see. Um but um let me see in my notes okay um I will not be surprised I do see a lots of feminine energy around him. Um, lots of feminine energy around him. Like lots of females do not like Jim Cornette at all, especially the Kenny Omega fans. They cannot stand Jim Cornette, but they try their hardest to make Jim Cornette like Kenny Omega, I don't know why. 
and Kenny Omega, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. What what like Kenny Omega? What you have to prove to Jim Cornette? Tell me why. He doesn't like you. It's best to not pay him no attention at all. Just do your thing. Do what you feel is comfortable and live your best life ever, okay? The reason why Jim Cornette talking about you because he, he know that you could do amazing things, okay? So stop stressing out about him doesn't liking you, or doesn't respect you. You have to learn how to be comfortable in your own skin. That's all I have to say. So, Jim, I feel like you're going to have a very interesting year of you doing a lot of work behind the scenes and the wrestling scenes. And also, I feel like you need to be careful on Twitter. And also, I feel like you're going to go do something in Instagram because of your upcoming um, YouTube show that will change your life forever. Um, I feel like you I feel like you're the man with a lot of intelligence and wit about you. But but also I want you to listen carefully with the people who is talking to you and talking busy to you because some of them are shady as hell. So this is Ty Williams. Good day. And goodbye.